I am a son of California, and I am especially grateful to receive an honor called the California Book Award because the book in my immigrant family, in my California family, has always stood for certain ideals. The book has symbolized our aspirations. In our family of humble roots, the book has always been a powerful and a sacred object. My father, a Guatemalan immigrant, arrived in Los Angeles at the age of 21 with only a sixth grade education, having owned only one book his entire life, La Historia del Imperio Romano, it was called. That book was his education from the time he was 11 until he was 21. His own mother, my grandmother, Valeria Cruz, was illiterate. A secret my father kept from me until my third book, The Barbarian Nurseries, was published. When I was 11 years old, my father gave me a copy of the first truly big, truly awesome book I ever owned, a copy of the American Heritage Dictionary, first edition. Now I see the deep meaning behind that gift. My father, a man whose mother could not write or read a single word in any language, was giving his son all the words in English. And I've held on to that love of words for my entire life. From California public schools in Southern California to UC Santa Cruz to the Mission District where I edited a bilingual newspaper called El Tecolote to the outstanding MFA program at UC Irvine to that often great, often confounding, sometimes literary institution of California known as the Los Angeles Times. <laughs> this novel, which you recognize today is the product of a personal, multi-generational struggle to master the word. But it's also a small recognition of Centroamericanos and of the contribution of the Central American diaspora to the culture of the West. And I'm proud to accept, to accept it in the name of the people of the Isthmus, the people of Vos, in the name of Patojos and of El Pulgarcito de America. That's El Salvador, the little finger of America. And finally, The Barbarian Nurseries is my own personal therapy session with the legacy of being a Californian. It's about a Mexican woman, a maid, who is an intellectual trapped in the body of a servant. She is my alter ego. I am an intellectual inside the body of a guatemalteco who has been liberated from this condition of servitude by the state of California. Being a son of this insane, brilliant, wounded, and free-spirited state made me the writer that I am today. It gave me a vision that's optimistic and dark, that's playful and demented, and also unfailingly empathetic. That's what it means to be a California writer in these days of great opportunity and of great subtractions. In this time of great diversity and of cruel austerities. California is crazier than ever and as golden as ever. And in the name of its insanity and in the name of its still rampant possibilities, I gratefully accept this award. 